Okay, so here we're going to find the equation of a tangent to a circle. So here's the equation of a circle, x squared plus y squared equals 25. So what's important we know here is the centre is at 0, 0. So there's the centre of the circle. Um, and find the equation of the tangent to the circle at the point 4 minus 3. So 4 minus 3 is here. So it's like a tangent is a line that just touches the circle. So it's a line something like that. Um, we're not going to estimate it though. We're not going to estimate the um, the gradient of this. We could we could by working out the gradient of the of the line we've just drawn, but we're not estimating it. We're actually going to work out um, the equation of the, the actual equation of the tangent. So what we need to know is that the radius. So if I drew the radius to the circle here. The radius meets the tangent at 90 degrees. So radius meets tangent at 90 degrees. And we can use that to work out the gradient of the tangent. So firstly, we need to know the gradient of the, this radius line here. So the gradient, if you remember, is change in y, change in y, divide by change in x. So the change in the y here, what's happened to it? So that's minus 4. Change in the x, that's plus 3. So the gradient of the radius is minus 4 over 3. And we know that this line here is perpendicular to this. So the tangent, gradient of tangent, the tangent is a perpendicular gradient to this. So to get a perpendicular gradient, we flip a minus. So the perpendicular gradient is 3 quarters. So the gradient of the tangent is 3 quarters. And then we need to know the equation of a line. So y equals mx plus c. We know that m is 3 quarters. And we've got these coordinates here, so we can work out c. So y equals 3 quarters x plus c and then we'll substitute in 4 and minus 3 for x and y and that will give us c so minus 3 equals 3 quarters of 4 plus c 3 quarters of 4 is just 3 so c take away 3 from both sides is minus 6 so the equation of the tangent is y equals 3 quarters x minus 6. Okay, another example here without the drawing. So we, we haven't got the picture here, but we've got a circle with center 0, 0. So center 0, 0. And we want the tangent at the point 5, 12. So... What's the, the gradient of the radius first? So m of the radius, I put mr here. So the gradient of the radius is the change in y. So 12 over the change in x, 5. So the gradient of the radius is 12 over 5. We could do um, x1, y1, x2, y2 here. So m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, so 12 minus 0 over 5 minus 0 is 12 over 5. Then, if we know the gradient of the radius, so the gradient of the radius, we know it's perpendicular to the tangent, so we flip a minus, so minus 5 over 12. So the gradient of the tangent is minus 5 over 12, so y equals minus 5 over 12 x plus c. It goes through this point, so we can use these coordinates to find c. So 12 equals minus 5 over 12 times 5 plus c. So 12 equals, let's think this is 5 over 1. So minus 25 over 12 
plus C, and we need to add on. Um, how's the what's the easiest way of doing this? Let's times through by twelve. So we'll get rid of the fraction. So times everything by twelve. Twelve twelve is a one four four. This times twelve, we'll just get rid of the divide by twelve. Divide by twelve tw times by twelve cancels, and this will be twelve C plus 25 to both sides, so 169 equals 12c, so c is 169 over 12. So y equals minus 5 over 12, x plus 169 over 12. That's the gradient, I mean the equation, that's the equation of the tangent. And finally, one more. Um, why don't you pause the video and give this one a go if you can. Um, if not, we'll do it together. So again, we've got our circle. We've got, so we need to know the gradient of the radius first. Um, so it's gone, it's gone, it's through zero, zero, that's the center. So x1, y1, x2, y2. So the gradient of the radius is change in y, so minus 8 minus 0 over change in x, minus 6 minus 0, minus 8 over minus 6, which is the same as 8 over 6, which is the same as 4 over 3. So the gradient of the radius is 4 over 3, that means the gradient of the tangent it's flip a minus because it's perpendicular minus 3 over 4. Uh, we've got y equals minus 3 over 4 x plus c, equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus c, and we've got these coordinates. So minus 6 minus 8. We're going to substitute them in. Minus 8 equals minus 3 over 4 times minus 6 plus c. Minus 8 equals, so we've got Minus 3 times minus 6 is 18, over 4 times 1, 4 plus c. Um, 18 over 4, I can cancel to 9 over 2. Um, and I can even write that as 4.5, that might make it look a bit simpler. Then I need to take it away, so take away 4.5 from both sides, that would be minus 12.5 equals c. So y equals minus 3 quarters x minus 12.5.